Now on the payment cycle, when we're buying goods and services for the business, you might call it the expenses cycle. We could do that. The easiest way to do that would be we just basically write a check type form or even easier, we just do electronic transfers. So we just set up electronic transfers to pay the telephone bill, the utility bill, and so on and so forth. Because they're electronic transfers, we might just wait till they clear the bank, which shouldn't take much time, and then use the bank feeds to record the transactions. Instead of us recording the transactions first and checking with the bank, that's where you get kind of the shortcut of using the bank feeds that could work quite well with those electronic transfers. So that's where the bank feeds can fit into that process. Many small businesses can do that and it, and it works quite well, although it's not like a full service accounting system because you're depending on the bank to create the financial statements. It's actually a step further away or easier than a cash-based system because a cash-based system, for example, you might still write checks in a cash-based system, physical checks and send them out in that system, you, you might still be on a cash-based system versus an accrual system, but you're not dependent on the banks to record the transactions because you're going to want to record the transactions when you write the check because you want to be able to discuss with the vendors if they have questions about the check when you wrote the check and whether or not that check has cleared. Therefore, in that situation, you're going to want to enter the check and then use the bank feeds as a verification, a double check a type of internal control. It's part of the bank reconciliation process, not being used to create the financial statements. And then if you're doing an accrual type of thing, then you're gonna enter the bills. The bills increase accounts payable. So now you've got the bill from like the telephone company, for example, instead of just paying it electronically with a check type form or expense form, or with a physical check, you're gonna enter it into the system as a bill a bill for QuickBooks is much more restrictive than a bill term just in common language. A bill term in common language could mean we're billing the client or it could mean that we got a bill uh, and, and it might the bill might say invoice on it because the, for, for the person who sent the bill, it's an invoice. To us, it's a bill if we're thinking about this, this kind of terminology on this side of the table. And we might just pay the bill with a check or electronic transfer and not enter it into our system as a bill form. If we're using a bill form, it means that we're increasing the accounts payable. That's what the bill form does. And then we're going to pay it later with a pay bill form, which is in essence a check. Now this transaction of entering the bill into the system as, a, as an accounts payable is an accrual transaction, no cash involved. So now you've stepped away from a cash based system entirely. So clearly the bank feeds are not going to be able to, to record that transaction because it's not, there's no cash involved in the transaction. Now, many small businesses might not do that. They might stick to a cash based system, but as businesses get larger, then oftentimes they move to, to needing to deal with accounts payable because of the size of the transactions they have and the number of transactions. So in other words, if you pay your utility bill for like a hundred dollars today or 15 days from now, it doesn't matter. You just send out the electronic transfer 15 days isn't a big deal. But if the utility bill was thousands of dollars and you made mul like hundreds of transactions a day like that, then of course, 15 days starts to become relevant. Uh, and so you need to track the accounts payable and time manage your money a lot closer and try to pay as late as you can without annoying the vendor. And that's when you have to deal with this accounts payable. In that case, where the bank feeds fit in. Well, you could enter the bill and then pay the bill electronically, wait till it clears the bank and try to connect it to the bill with the bank feeds. But most people would most likely enter the bill, then pay the bill with the pay bill form, in essence, a check type form or expense type form. And then they would use the bank feeds to match, to double check, to verify, to basically do the bank reconciliation process. 